Hey dear love, I'm Nicole, founder of Spiritual Guidance Academy, and welcome to your October Spiritual Guidance. This is your career focus. Watch out for the love focus and the health focus. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do about two and a half minutes of the Earth's energy, of the Spirit's energy, of the universe's energy. And then we're going to dive right into your personal star sign, moon sign, all of those signs energy all right so this is a month of sexual tension rechannel that to be productive and work for you all right you might just be needing to work on your own body get to learn yourself your hormones might be changing there's a lot of anger a lot of blow-ups waiting to happen so when you see people fidgeting get out of their way if you're the one that's fidgeting go rechannel that go work out go for a walk work with your hands and create something powerful and divine there's a lot of movement, a lot of a need to just function and to just be. So channel that into any kind of useful energy such as meditating, chanting, um, playing music, running, working out, playing with the kids, okay, playing a, a self game, whatever you need to do. But regenerate that, in, that energy. Um, there's a lot of anxious energy out there. Work on your goals. Uh, be determined to be successful. Become that business owner that you keep dreaming to be. The energy is there for you to succeed this month, but you've got to do the work. If you're trying to cut corners, it's not going to work. Power plays are out there. Don't be the one to get got, okay? You be the one to stay empowered in your authority, your personal authority, meaning self-develop. Be in charge of you. Make the changes you make within yourself. Don't try to force it on someone else, okay? The delays are real. Keep an eye on your keys. If the car is messing up, go get it checked out. Get second, third, seventh opinions. If you have to make a large purchase that you have not been researching, make sure that you bring someone you trust. Bring them in on the deal. Tell them the, what's going on. Trust them because they are your blessing in disguise and what they say is a message from the divine. Frustration is real. Disappointment is real. The shakeups are real. So watch your money. Reposition, refocus, re-strategize. Here you listen to this, okay? The peacemakers are causing waves. There's some that are lying. There's some that are real. You must use your intuition this month, okay? Get off the fence, make that choice to be successful, and you will be absolutely good. If you lie your way forward, you will fail, you will fall on your face. And spiritual superstars, you know that we don't ever want you to fail. We want you to be successful, and Divine Source truly does have your back. All right, let's get started. Hi Aquarius, let's go ahead and raise our vibration by taking a beautiful deep breath in. Ready? Inhale deeply, challenge your human, and exhale completely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Divine Source, thank you so much for allowing me to channel Aquarius' spiritual guidance with 100% accuracy. Thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Oh, it is three. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Aquarius, I feel like you're going to have such an interesting month of renewal. And I just feel like you come into October with this ability to speak your truth but be heard. And I just feel like Spirit is telling you that this is a renewal. It's definitely a renewal. You're you're just emerging into your higher self in such a way that is just bringing you into a new cycle of life. And you know you've got this beautiful connection with 
all things spiritual, but, you know, really be focused and staying connected to the divine. Um, and I'm sorry about the, the, the glare there. Um, Heavenly Angels, please help me get this clear for dear Aquarius. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, go up, back, and then back. Thank you so much. So, stay connected. Wait a minute, I heard. Go up, go up, go back. Okay. Go up, go back, and then go back. Maybe I'm not doing the go back right. Is that right? Can you see that? Oh, I didn't go back uh, enough, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't go back right enough, honey. Let me get my clarity, okay? There we go. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Okay, that's what it was. It I can show you what Spirit is showing me. It's a, it's literally someone leaning back like this, like all the way back, like a board. Like a, doing a plank, like an upside down plank. Thank you so much, Lord. I got you. Thank you so much. I see. I can see clearly now. <laughs> Sometimes it's a struggle. Let me tell you something, Aquarius. Woo! I feel like you are releasing what no longer serves you and, you know, Quite frankly, some of what never has between your relationship with your father figure and um, and the, the, the way that you do your money, the way that you felt like you've had to either go into this certain mission to please your father or to even go way away from how your father did things or how you knew your father to do things or how you were raised if your father wasn't there. I just feel like that when this comes up, Spirit is reminding you that you can go your own way and you have the opportunity to create based on the way that the values that you have but to always know that that relationship between your father and you was always meant to be unconditional love. No matter how it played out with ego, it was meant to, to have, to be of unconditional love. And so forgiveness is here. And remember this, resentment is the harshest form of energy. And so whether it is the father figure in your life or whether it is your spouse, your partner, whether it is your ex, Whatever this energy is with father figure, with father energy in your life, whether it's you, forgiveness is there also. And so making that choice to forgive the way that you were parented and to know that you have the opportunity and the freedom to parent the way that you choose to. But stay connected. Definitely stay connected because... In that energy, uh, when we're being guided to stay connected, it is because we're going through a lot. We're going through a turmoil that is really taking most of our energy to the past and away from our future goal, away from what we truly desire. And Spirit just wants you to remember Stay vigilant. Be strong. Because you are a whole lot stronger than your weakest moment wants you to believe you are. And so just remember that as you do forgive and you choose to move forward and release yourself from any of this energy that makes you who you are. Forgive yourself and forgive those 
that hurt you, but it doesn't mean that you are letting anybody off the hook. It means that you are washing your hands of any burden from any of the pain that they have caused you. And so as you emerge from those blocks in that type of limited toxic relationship, you are unblocking and destroying money, financial, career, obstacles, blocks, curses, chains that have held you from manifesting your true wealth, your true abundance. And a you're able to take everything that you've learned and what you're seeing, which is a part of the unseen, meaning you see it through your spiritual sight, your dreams, your visions, the synchronicities that seem to keep happening, the waves of sensation over your body, the itching on your skin, the messages of clarity that you're receiving. You're able to synergize and put one and one plus one equals two together with your life experiences and you're able to yield the type of financial results that you have been desiring. So you might say, you know what, my, uh, my father wasn't around and I'm only 15 and he's never been a part of my life and I am um, the oldest of my siblings and now I've got to help my family out. So you might say, you know what, I'm about to start doing some odd jobs. I'm going to get a job uh, working for the neighborhood store. I'm going to do some errands. I'm going to clean out homes. I'm going to rent out the neighbor's lawnmower. And I'm going to mow her or his glass, grass for free. And I'm going to... Um, start my own lawn mowing business until I can afford to buy my own lawn mower and I'm going to make this happen at 15. But there's a choice there. And so if you're a grown man and you know that you are forgiving your father, whether he is around or not, whether he is in your life or not, whether he was or not, whether you even know who he was or not, you now have that choice to make to live life the way that spirit is guiding you to do and to look, you know, and to really face these obstacles, I feel. Because Aquarius, the energy for you is in your communication, in your neighborhood. And they're going to support you because they're assigned to support you in your mission. I really feel strongly, no matter how harsh this may seem to some of you, some of your fathers were born, were, were supposed to get you here. They were supposed to help to conceive you, but they weren't supposed to hang around. Let me say that again, even though I know it's cutting deep into some people's ego, and the limitation that you're feeling right now of your circumstances. Some of you, your fathers were only meant to be the one that helped your mom conceive you. And they weren't supposed to be the ones to raise you. And so just know that your life purpose, your career path is fully supported. And you can lean on divine source as your father. Did you hear that? You can lean on God for your support. Because now it's about to get really, it's about to pick up. It's about to go really super fast. 
And just know that you're going to take those life experiences and you're going to put them together with what you are learning in school, what you are learning at your job, what you are learning through life. And Aquarius, you are able to make that career change and create your way forward by designing your own life. You are able to have that freedom of creative expression and make it work for you and really start designing, excuse me, life your way. You don't have to stay in a career that you don't want to be in. And if you were in that career because you felt like, well, this is what my father did, this is what my father's father did, this is what we've always done, this is what my father told me I need to be doing, Well, now it's time for you to remember who your father's father really is and who your father in divine is, which is all of our father, which is God. When you have the spirit of the dragonfly, this is a quick boom from infant to really from the larva stage to adulthood. It really is larva baby dragonfly, adult dragonfly. They don't waste any time, but they can stay dormant forever. But when it's time to really get on that journey of their mission, they do it very quickly without hesitation. Thank you so much. See, your energy on the new moon this month is welcoming those assigned to you to help you that don't look like you have nothing in common. They are totally in a different culture. They, are, they live across the world. You connect with them on social media. You are understanding that they've got something to bless you with. They've got knowledge that you need. They are um, doing the work that you're doing. They have qualities that you admire. They are where you are going and you can trust their advice and they just want to help and support you. See with your spiritual sight. When we honor the truth of our spiritual sight, dear Aquarius, we honor the truth that spirit wants us to see. We have to learn to see with our human sight. And this is seeing the unseen. The mysteries of life is held within the spiritual realm. This is guidance, your intuition, secrets, keeping your integrity, the knowledge that turns into wisdom. Of course, your spirituality, your inner child wants to come out to play. This is mystery and being okay with that. Keeping your dignity. But this is your sixth sense. And this is your brow, brow or third, third eye chakra. Right? And this is all that is hidden within. That you choose to let others see and you choose not. But this, the, in this energy really is the agreement. The family agreements that were made before you were born and karmic issues, some that don't even have your name on them, but you have taken ownership of, which you have brought into this world to work out, and some you can simply release and detach from them because they weren't yours to begin with. So are you living your past into your future? is that question that Spirit is asking you to make right now. And this is also saying you are not to know. This is a woman named Albergine. So some things you are not to know and you have to be okay with that. And some people are not to know why you're doing what you're doing and you have to be okay with that. The legend here is a woman named Albergine calls on the telephone to confirm 
that she will be with us tonight, yet no woman named Albergine has even been invited. Of the four invited, two are wed and two are unknown to each other, a woman and a man. Surely, if this mysterious woman were the guest of the man, she would have made it known. A woman approaches, the woman named Albergine, the woman who will be with us tonight. As mysterious as that legend is, you are going to learn how to be even more mysterious to people that don't need to know all your business. They don't need to know every move that you're making and it's okay to really focus on you, I think, this month. I feel like that is what Spirit is telling you, to make that change so that you can create the wealth that you deserve. Your inspiration to meditate on is, it is wise to be the observer. Do not respond until you are certain. The unknown is not easy, but it is no longer necessary for you to fear. Personal inquiry for you to meditate on is, am I ignoring my intuition? What I suspect is probably true. I must breathe. Key ideas to meditate on and to build your affirmations on are ignoring signs, unknown motivation, intuitive knowing, fear of the unknown, and journey. Key words to meditate and build your affirmations on are intuition, courage, and uncharted. Uncharted. I do feel that Spirit is guiding you, dear Aquarius, to make changes in your home life. At the end of the month, the full moon, blue moon for you on the 31st is all about family. And in the beginning of the month, you've got this beautiful awakening, this awareness of how to communicate differently with everybody around you. And your goals are changing. And for the need for you to really be observing instead of mediating, instead of trying to please everybody, instead of uh, just desiring peace so much that you avoid the confrontation of your own inner work, of your own shadow work. You come to this point mid-month on the 16th of being able to really create a new path based on a connection with someone you admire as a father authoritative figure, okay? And it could be someone, let me close these blinds for you. It could be someone that is within your, your immediate environment. But it can also be someone that you know from uh, social media. And so when you look at that, you may see some qualities there in them that you really wished was in your own father and know that forgiveness is going to be key and you may see qualities within them that you want to own as a father so you you'll know that when it comes but just remember you are releasing a lot of pain there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Just so that you can avoid having to relive broken promises, broken dreams. And so that you can live your life in happiness and have that stability and security that you really, really want. And that you deserve. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because I, I truly, and this is also a time for you to 
anyone to graduate from a program or anything like that and to really commit to the next phase of your life of how you're going to apply that knowledge from your studies and how to really be all in how to stay consistent in building up whether it's business ownership or whether it's showing up at your job um, there's just there's a way for you to use that synergy that green man ascended master energy and let it work for you to just put two and two together so that you yield the type of results that you truly deserve because the energy is here I, and I you know the fact that you don't want to be defensive you don't want to have to come out battling we know that that's your natural energy but the energy there you're being crossed with is battle mode so just remember that forgiveness is the key and speaking up communicating effectively is absolutely in your energy you're able to communicate that coming into October and so just remember that even though things might seem a little wonky they might seem a little chaotic you might be sad you might be frustrated that angry energy is throughout the month but there's also a need remember to go back to your introduction and really look at the energy because you have to stay encouraged that even though this might be a low point, that wheel of fortune is coming around and you're going to have the time to really ring that bell of victory, to really make that goal, to really see the fruition of your, your wishes, your hopes, and your dreams. And the money is here. I mean, the security and the stability is here. You've planted some really powerful seeds. It is time for you to harvest. So on that new moon, in that energy of connecting with someone that is unlike you, really do that and fail forward. You are going to stumble. Be okay with that. Expect it. As Denzel Washington says, fail hard. Plenty of times. Keep failing forward. As the book says, I can't think of the, the author right now, but fail forward is, I've got the book, um, and I've got the, uh, the tablet that goes with it too. Fail forward. Remember to learn those lessons and use the lessons to synergize. Remember your energy synergy. Remember, look that up and know what that, what that word means to you. Because it really is a stepping stone for you this month. You are going to receive. You are going to be on top. You do have to go through the fire in order to get there. You are going to have to be burned a little bit in order for that which you need to let go of just falls away. And it's going to hurt a lot sometimes. But you're going to make it. Justice is on your side. You're going to do this. Yes, you do have to stay committed. And yes, you do want that. And yes, Spirit is telling you, stay committed. Be loyal to your family. But be loyal to yourself. And know that Spirit is your father, your mama, your support. Okay? That is Divine Source. That's our Creator. And whether you call God God... Divine Source, Spirit, the Universe, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, however way you call God, God. That source of higher power is your Savior. It, that is your lean on. Okay, so you lean on Divine Source. And then your key is, is to take that step forward. You've got to, you've got to move. You got to move, okay? And no, you're not going to be, you're not going to fall right on these swords. You're not going to fall. You are okay. The fear of failing, okay, is this energy. But as Spirit said, 
when, 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 winner. Yes, you've got it. Spirit is guiding you to your success. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And remember, you don't have to know everything. You just have to follow Divine Source's direction. And with the spirit of the peacock, let yourself shine. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of, of how far you've come. Let the light of the divine shine within you. We know how big your heart is. And when you've got 46 here, that is all of the universal energies coming to help and bless you. And being able to balance it out with six and to come to that point of clarity in what needs to go and what needs to stay. But let it shine. When is the last time you just decided to celebrate yourself instead of everybody else? This is a yearning for self-expression and you're called to show the world just how gorgeous you are. Just to let yourself shine so that we can see everything about you. Show your true colors. It's okay to get angry and upset with other people. And it's okay to tell them where to go. It's okay to do that because that's the freedom and the truth of your, of your expression of yourself. And we still are going to find you to be exquisite and non-confrontational. But when that confrontation comes to you, Aquarius, you have to stand up to it. And that's how you're going to be blessed because it goes back to the relationship you have with your daddy. And you've got to release from that block because it is sabotaging your success and it's blocking your money. Do you think you may have been punished if you shine too brightly? If you act who you are really, if you show the world who you are, were you criticized and judged? Were you hurt by your dad? Not everybody's going to celebrate who you are. Not everybody is built to do that. But the peacock spirit is here to remind you, dear love, that while others may resist celebrating the beauty within themselves, they may contract while you expand. Shake your tail feathers, smile, and keep on dancing anyway. Model the good fortune and abundant joy that is yours. And soon someone's going to say, me too, I want to do that too. I celebrate you. I'm so glad that you showed up in your beautiful energy because you... Make me realize I can too. Honey, Spirit loves you so much and wants you to enjoy the dance and shine your light as the beautiful star that you are. Well, dear Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what your affirmation is that I want you to put inside your journal. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Here we go. All right. All right. I want you to write that in your journal. And you see that nice and bright there, dear Aquarius? All right. I have the attitude of gratitude for the many teachers in my life giving guidance and direction towards my heart's desires. Thank you so much, Aquarius. I look forward to seeing you grow. And if there's anything that I can do for you, if I can give you a reading, I'm happy to do that. And we have a couple more spaces in our uh, scholarship coaching program. And um, just click the links down below. Remember this. Your life is your life. You have the right to live your life your way. And you do not have to live it to please anybody else other than our creator. 
because our Creator only wants what's right for you, what's best for you. You have the right to release any blocks to your wealth and your happiness that were created by the relationship you have with your Father on Earth. You have the power to do that. And I pray that you go ahead and know that and you take that one step forward in faith. Remember, our Creator is our Heavenly Father and our Creator supports us. Now, in our limitation, I say gender specific, but we know that God is all encompassing. And with God, all things are possible. Love you, Aquarius. You're going to have a wonderful month. And so it is.